Hey guys, Jared Krause, and it appears everybody wants to make money online and becoming an online entrepreneur is the best way to go about having your dream life. The thing is that most people don't realize is that it's not as glamorous and easy as it looks. And there is a price to pay. There's always lessons and failures to be learned. And what I wanna do in this video is I wanna share with you five online entrepreneurial failures to avoid. So the best advice on how to go away and buy websites and online businesses that have passed that 90% failure rate that all startups face, and they have a proven track record that are making money month over month, go away and hit the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. Also hit the bell notification so you can be updated when I upload new videos every single week. Now in this video, I'm gonna share with you the things that I failed at. And the crazy thing is that most people think failures are really, really bad. However, if you realize the failures were lessons you want to fail more often, much like I do, right? Another failure just means another lesson. And what I've found out is that most, what most people say about success is the more they fail, the more success they have. But I too like to learn from other entrepreneurs that have made these failures and learn from their mistakes so I don't have to do that as well. So I'm going to share with you five online entrepreneurial fails to, failures to avoid in this video. Number one, starting a website is a waste of time. Now, the reason I know this is because there's so many websites that get start like started and so many people that fail. It's actually 90% and I know this because I've done this myself. And I see that you could go away and do so much planning, so much research and put every th single thing into place, start a website and still fail. Which is why I believe it's so much smarter to go away and buy a website that has already passed that 90% failure rate and you know it's gonna be making money month over month, right? So if you want to go away and make money online, starting a website is, in my opinion, a waste of time, especially when you're just coming to this game and you don't know what you're doing. Even if you do know what you're doing, you can still fail and there's a massive chance of that happening. Number two is never chase likes, followers, and subscribers and get more people on your, you know, following you. Reason being is because you are chasing the wrong target. If you want to be an online entrepreneur and make money, having likes, subscribers, and followers isn't going to allow you to do that. The more followers you have, the more likes you have, the more people, you know, going through and watching your stuff. Yeah, sure, that's great, but that doesn't actually make you money unless you know how to monetize it. And I know this is a massive mistake that I did and so many other people do is they they go away and try and find and get as many followers as possible, but it's the wrong target to be chasing. The right target to be chasing is the right niche of the people who actually like your stuff and are gonna buy from you or your business. If you wanna make money online, it's not about how big you can boost your ego, but how much value you can add to somebody's life and monetize what you're doing. So chasing the wrong goal is something to be very cautious of because I started started doing that and so many other people do the same when they start out. So very, be very aware of that. Number three is don't just copy everyone else online. Now, I see this very, very often and I did this too where people go away and see different types of websites and businesses that are working and making money and killing it. And then we just go, well, if they're doing it, why can't we? Now, the thing is, if we go away and copy somebody, we're going up against them as competition and they've already solved a problem in the market and we're just copying them and we find it really, really hard to get traction because they're like an authority already, right? And I did this myself with a different type of product and I, I learned a whole lot, which is really good and I failed a whole lot, like I said before. You know, the more I fail, the more I learn and the more I fail, the more successful I become. Now. I've learned some really, really good lessons to not just go away and copy any everyone else. Instead, what you need to do is find a problem and solve it. So you don't just start a business, you find a problem and solve it, right? Now, the, now when I go away and buy businesses, I look for businesses that are really good and things that are already solving problems and work out how I can add more value to solve more problems and give um, more value to the clients that are buying from that business, right? So those people in life who give the most value succeed. Those businesses that give the most value, they succeed. So don't just copy everyone else, 
do something a little bit different, solve a problem and add more value, and then you can become, become successful as an online entrepreneur. Number four is diversify your traffic streams. Now, when people go away and try to start a website and make money online, what happens is they go away and try to get a whole lot of people in from Facebook, and that's just their main focus. Or all the way from Instagram, and that's their main focus. Or they get people just to come from Google and do SEO. Now, when you have just people coming from Instagram, or if they're just coming from Facebook, or they're just coming from Google, or only from Twitter, what can happen is, you put yourself in a rocky boat. And if the boat rocks like Facebook or Google or Twitter or Instagram, something stuffs up or shuts down like MySpace or whatever and something bad like that happens, then you lose all of your traffic to your business and your website, which means diversify. Diversify by getting different traffic from different channels to ensure that if one thing happens over here, you've still got another source of traffic that can bring in new revenue to your business as well. So it's really important to understand is not just be reliant on any one business or any one traffic source or any one thing. Always be diversified. Now the fifth and final one, which is the most important in my opinion, is to go away and hire a coach, hire a mentor, hire a marketing person, an SEO person, a web developer. Anybody who has built anything bigger than themselves has hired somebody to help them do it. Now, the reason I say this is because for me, and I know so many other online entrepreneurs out there, have gone away and been entrepreneur spirited and gone away to make it work for themselves, right? The one man band, I can do this, I'm the one, I'm the man, I'm the woman, I can get this done and I'm, I'm the best. The thing is though, we don't know what we don't know and we do need to hire people that can teach us what we don't know. Now, that is very, very important because it's not just about doing it for ourselves, right? Having a team is the most valuable thing because they can help you foresee things, they can help you do things that you don't know you don't know, and it just makes everything so much more seamless. So why would you go away and try to struggle this path yourself when you don't know how to do it and you don't know how to walk that path? Why wouldn't you go away and hire somebody that has walked that path to share with you exactly what's coming up so you know whether to duck, jump, leap, get out of the way, or dive in head first? It's really important to understand that having somebody on your team or having somebody that is guiding you is the most valuable thing. So there you go, there's five online entrepreneurial tips and failures to avoid if you are gonna go away and make money online. Now, a lot of people wanna know what I actually do, how I go about it, and how I teach people to start getting into buying websites. Now, if you wanna do that, you can go away and click the link here or in the descriptions about how to go away and start buying websites for passive income for beginners. And for those of you guys who are already online entrepreneurs and are either making money online or trying to make money online or have failed and stopped, please, in the comments below, let me know what your failures were so everybody else can learn from them and let me know what your wins are and what you're succeeding at so we can create a really good community here so we can help each other along their journey to making money online.